Good morning. Our webinar is going to begin in just about uh, one or two minutes, just letting a few other folks get logged in. And we're going to start uh, uh, right at the top of the hour. So we'll be back in just a couple moments. Okay, we are at the top of the hour, so I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you very much for joining our webinar this morning. Um, we are broadcasting today from Seattle, Washington, where um, our presenter resides at the PPI Group, a Topcon Solutions store. So my name is Wendy Finch, and I'm the marketing director for Topcon Solutions stores, and I am very delighted to have you all join us for the 28 or 2019, I'm a year behind, the 2019 AutoCAD updates. Um, a couple of housekeeping things first. Um, we will probably have some time at the end of the webinar to take a few questions. So if you type those questions in the questions box on your menu bar for the GoToWebinar, um, we'll go ahead and address those at the end. So feel free to type them in at any time um, throughout the, the presentation. And um, time permitting, we'll, we'll uh, get some of those answered on live on the webinar. Um, the other thing is this webinar is being recorded and it will be available on our website and our YouTube channel. Um, probably within about 24 hours. Sometimes we get it up sooner. And um, so we'll also send out an email that will have the link so that you can either review it if you missed it or if you wanted to pass it along to a colleague, it'll be available. So I think we're going to go ahead and get started. I see we still have a few people logging in, but um, in the interest of, of time, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to turn things over to J.V. Singh, who is an application engineer up out of our Seattle office, and he specializes in civil and AutoCAD. So I'm going to go ahead and turn things over to you, JV, and please just let us um, tell our audience just a little bit about yourself before um, diving into today's presentation. All right. Can you hear me okay, though? I can. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Hey, my, um, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Jodhvir Singh, short for JV. Um, I've been with the PPI group for about three years now, and I teach their intro to civil class, and I teach intro to AutoCAD and also intermediate AutoCAD. So I'm pretty familiar with that software. So today we'll be talking a little bit about um, AutoCAD 2019, new features that have been added. Um, not much to it. Uh, there's a few changes that have gone but they've actually um, added new products into our one AutoCAD system, so which we'll be going over a little bit. So without further ado, let's get into it. So go on to the next slide. So I'll be switching back and forth between AutoCAD 2019 and this PowerPoint. So I'll show you something on a slide and then we'll go ahead and take a look how that uh, command or function works in AutoCAD. 
So here's a list of new features that have been added into AutoCAD 2019. So the first one is DWG Compare, where you can compare two drawings together, and we'll be doing that. And the second one is Shared Views. Now, this has been around uh, for a little bit, but they've kind of enhanced it. So it's uh, more user-friendly and easy to use. And the next thing is a totally new thing that's coming out in 2019, which is AutoCAD Web App, which allows you to kind of use a web browser for AutoCAD editing and viewing purposes. So, and you don't have to have anything installed on your personal machine where you want to work. You can just use the web browser. It's pretty cool. Um, the next thing is AutoCAD mobile app, which does almost the same thing as web app, but you have to download an app on your phone or say an iPad or a tablet, and you can do um, simple commands like editing a simple drawing or viewing the drawing or measuring it in a uh, drawing. And the last one is save to web and mobile, which allows you to save from your desktop to your web browser or to your mobile phone so you can actually have access to those um, drawings that you want to work on, maybe offline or um, online. I'll get into the next slide, which we'll show you. So, um, in 2019, they've actually combined all of these softwares um, into one subscription. So if you have a subscription, you actually have access to all of these softwares, which are mechanical, architectural, electrical, map 3D, MEP, map 3D, and raster design. Um, one thing to keep in mind is you still have to install them separately, even though you have access to those. So it's not coming in as just one software that you can change your workspace and end up in mechanical or architectural. You will still have to download and install those separately, each of those softwares. So I'll get into the next. And here you comparison between 2018 and 2019. And as you see, the interface have changed a lot. So you can see some updated icons throughout your ribbon. And this is just an example of a home tab right now. And you'll notice your quick access toolbar icons have changed from 2018. So down below right here is 2018. And this is 2019 ribbon. And um, this is just, I put there for example, even your status bar has changed. Your quick access toolbar has changed. All your tabs have changed. Um, they just uh, made it more user friendly and kind of popping out colors. You can see the circle a little different from 2018 and polylines and all those commands. So just those enhancements, and they do this every year um, from 2017 to 2018 was a little bit different. From 2018 to 2019 is a little bit different. So it's all for the good. All right, so the next part is a DWG compare. So this is one of the main features that they've added into AutoCAD 2019. So this is not something that's maybe on the web or on mobile. So this allows you to actually compare two drawings um, and put them into one. So you can actually see the differences right on your AutoCAD. And um, we'll go ahead and do an example on this real quick. So I'll switch back to my AutoCAD. So you'll see right now, I have my 2019 open right here. And for you to compare a drawing, you can actually have one drawing open first, or you can just go in the Collaborate tab, and there's that DWG compare. So I'll go ahead and just open up the first drawing. So maybe first floor plan. And this is a normal DWG. And then, then you want to open up the comparing drawing, which you can do in the Collaborate tab, or you can also type in compare in your command line and hit enter and you'll notice this dialog box that pops up now you can uh, see the color of the first drawing is green and the color of the second drawing will be red and you can also change those colors just by clicking on that button right there so if you want drawing one to be maybe blue or kind of red again uh, you can do that right here so for now i'll leave that green and then you get to pick a second drawing that you want to compare it with. So I'll go ahead and pick my version two. And that puts that into this browser list. And after that, you can hit that compare button. 
And what this will do is it will create a third drawing, which will compare both of those drawings together. And you'll notice you have some gray area, some yellow, and some red and green area. So the yellow is um, a little bubble that pops up around all the corrections or the things that are different. And those are called revision clouds, and you can change the way they look just from the ribbon. But let's go ahead and look at these options right here. So here you'll see how drawing one was looking. So all that green that you're seeing, that's the original drawing one that I've opened. And the red is my second drawing. And it puts them both onto that one drawing so you can see the differences between them. Now I can freeze and pause drawings depending on whichever you want to see. So if you want to turn off whatever they have in common, you can do that and just see the changes, maybe from red to green or green to red. Or if you just want to see drawing two, you can see that. So that can be all done using these commands. Now you can also change the way the revision clouds work. So I can make them smaller so they go around the changes that are currently displayed in my drawing. So you'll notice if I zoom in, there is a revision cloud around that. And if I make that bigger, it kind of puts it all around that whole um, section of that drawing. And there's one right there. There's a change right there and one right there. And if you don't like the rectangular way of things, you can also change that to polygonal. And if I make that a little smaller, it's a little more precise on how it gets drawn over your objects. And you do have an option if you want to show the hatches in this drawing. So if I turn on my hatch, you'll notice these columns come in hatched now. So just a viewing thing. And if you don't want to bring in text or you want to bring in text, you can turn that on and off right there. So again, that will be in your Collaborate tab, DWG Compare. And you can compare it. You can um, save this drawing as one. It's totally up to you. OK, so I'll go ahead and close down with that. So that's our DWG Compare command that's been just added to it. All right, I'll go back to my PowerPoint and let's look at the next slide. So the next thing we have are shared views and named views. So again, um, it's just a little enhancement on shared views, but they did add some new options how you can insert views into your layout tabs. So I'll go over that with you real quick. So again, going back to AutoCAD. So we can stay in the same tab, Collaborate tab, and there you have your shared views. So if I go ahead and open up a drawing, maybe I'll just open up a simple drawing here. And let's say I wanna share this with somebody, which is uh, maybe I wanna share a viewport and not the whole drawing. So I actually have an option to do that now. So I'll just go ahead and create a simple viewport and this is a viewport of my drawing. Now let's say I just want to share this. So I can go on that Collaborate tab again and do Shared Views. And this will open up another panel. And you can start sharing views by clicking on that new Shared View button right there. And what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to name it here. And you get to choose what you want to share so do you want to share the current view only or do you want to share the model view along with all the tabs that you have in here now if you're working with something that has 3d objects in it you can create a 2d views only out of that and share those so it will exclude all those 3d properties also if you want to share the object properties meaning if you want them to know what kind of properties are associated with the line work or um, a block. You can also turn this option on. So when they click on that, they'll see all the properties relating to that. 
But if you don't want it, um, you just want to show them the drawing and the view, you can just uncheck this. And I'll go ahead and do the share current view only and click share. Now it takes a few minutes so I'll, um, or seconds, depending on how big your drawing is. So let's say how quickly it opens up. And you'll get a little pop up going right on the side. So this little icon right here shows you that it's trying to publish a share view online. So now you also get an email because you're signed in with your email right here in your Autodesk account. So now I can view that in the browser. So I'll let it do its thing and there you go. I've just shared my view and now it's available for viewing online. Now you can um, mark these up, you can zoom in and zoom out. You can measure using these commands down here. Now, you were able to do that before too. Now you can also leave comments. So what you can do is let's say I zoom into a certain location and I wanna make a comment off of that. So it's telling me to sign in for comments. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. A good thing it's saved. Perfect. So anytime you zoom in and leave a comment, it actually adds that into these comments. So Walt needs to be bigger. So that's that may be a comment and I'll post that up there. So now that's available right there. So Anybody who I'm sharing this drawing with, they'll be able to see that, okay, I'm in the vault view and that needs to be bigger. So, and what you can do is you can also share this with somebody else. So let's go ahead and look at that. I don't want to go in the profile. So to share this, you can just click on that share button and copy paste this link into an email. So whoever you want to share that with, they'll have this link and they can just click on it and they can view it. And again, um, anybody can view, uh, view this view. But to leave a comment, you would have to have an Autodesk account, which you notice that I had to sign in in order for me to leave a comment on this drawing. And if you had clicked on that button that you can share the object properties, they will also pop up. So anytime you click on an object and go in properties of that, they will be appearing in this dialog box right here. And along with what layers are being used right here. So these come in whatever layers you can make a PDF out of and how they show up in this list. So that, that wraps up the shared view. Now let's look at the next thing, which are the named views. So hey, JV, before you move on, can yeah. I, uh, we've got a couple of questions and maybe it might uh, be easier to address these while you're still in that same um, okay. category, yeah. same mode, is That's that okay? True. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay, so Ron asks, with the with in, with the compare, um, if it turns mm -hmm. out you have different insertion base points, what can you do to recompare? If the drawings have different base points, yes, um, you, you, can, you can probably move. Oh, the insertion points, um, you would have to maybe move the drawings to the same base points in order for you to compare it um, better because if there are different base points they will be at totally different places so it won't be showing up um, as nicely as how it did when I did that DWG compare earlier and using this um, example so I'll show you quickly so the first and the second now if these have different base points all of my uh, vision clouds will be all over the place because they won't, the drawings will not land right on top of each other. So I hope that 
kind of answers that question. Okay. If if it doesn't run, uh, reach out to us and and uh, we'll we'll take this offline and and discuss that with you. Um, yeah, one yes. more question uh, from Bob: Does shared views and GIS data from Map 3D work, or is this just basic AutoCAD uh, geometry? Um, it's whatever you you have in your um, layouts. It should also transfer into the shared views. So um, also in your model space, whatever you have in your model space, it should also, so the whole thing goes, if you have GIS data, which um, you may have images or um, Google Maps, they, they should also go in the shared views because that's what you're seeing currently. And that should also transfer into your web browser for shared views. So okay, thank you. No problem. All right, so let's get back into the PowerPoint and I'll go ahead and close out of these real quick. All right, so the next thing are named views. So adding on to my shared views. So if I go back into my layout tabs, now in the layout, I have another insert view option right here. So first of all, uh, what I'll do is I'll create some custom views for us to use in that layout command. So to create a custom view, we can go on our new tab and we'll do a new view. And in here, we can maybe I want to do the vault. Okay. And I'll go ahead and define a window on my vault. So I'll turn on my snaps. And let's say I want that to be a view. Vault. So that's one. Okay. And I'll go ahead and create one. Or maybe notes. And I'll name it notes. And I'll do whatever is currently displayed because that's the one I'm currently in. Click OK. So I've got these two new views. Now I can use those in my layout tab. So if I go in the layout tab now under the insert view, they also pop up in this list. So all the custom views that you make, now they're available for you under the insert view. So what you can do is you can insert those as easy as just by clicking over them and bringing them into your layout. So that's the first one. And that's my vault, and maybe I'll place the vault here. I can show the annotation objects like that. So another extra thing that they've added is if you click on one of the viewports, and now you have an extra drop down right there. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to select the scale that you want that object to be right from that viewport. So let's say I want that to be one eighth, just a little bit bigger. You can do that right in the viewport. So maybe I want this to be a little smaller. And I can do that right on the go. So I don't have to use the scales in the status bar. So for me to use the scales in the status bar, I would have to activate that and then use those B scales. So for these, I can just click on the viewport and it's available right there for me. Also, what you can do is you can make these views right on the go. So if I wanted to make a new view, I can do that right by clicking on that button. So new view takes me back to my model space. So it allows me to draw a window around wherever I'm going to make a view of. So maybe I want that lawn room. Make a window out of that. Hit enter. And you'll notice it goes back to the layout tab and it allows me to put that view right on my paper space. So it makes things much simpler. So again, this is all new for 2019. So far, any questions on those? Um, or we can cover questions at the end. <clears throat> so I'll go back to my PowerPoint. So the next thing is um, the web app. So this is, again, something new that they've um, created. So, so you can edit and create and view CAD drawings and a web interface from any of the computers that you have. So you don't have to have AutoCAD come in and install on that machine for you to work in AutoCAD. 
So I'll show you a quick example of how that works. So I'll just go ahead and open up that browser and the URL we want to use is web.autocad.com and you would need to have an AutoCAD account um, and a subscription for you to even sign in. So once you're signed in, you'll get some samples and uh, I already uploaded a test file on here. And I'll go ahead and open that so you can see how this interface looks compared to AutoCAD software itself. And again, this is 100% um, web browser, so you're not installing anything separately. And you'll notice it allows you to zoom in and zoom out of that drawing that I uh, compared earlier. And down here you have some of the commands that you can use. Now, um, it's not 100% as uh, functional as normal AutoCAD would be because you have a lot more commands to work with, but um, soon they'll get there. So this is a start and you can uh, um, use simple things like measure, draw rectangles, circles, and arcs. You also can dimension, dimension out um, line work and also do M leaders. So a lot of functionality you can all also look at the properties of certain things. So just like AutoCAD, if you highlight a line work and your properties will change and they'll tell you what those are. So just like how AutoCAD works, you can also see some of the layers that come in with that drawing. Now this will kind of auto update. So what you want to do is you can also see your decimals and your object snap tracking, so those are always there for you also. And as you're drawing something, it'll keep on saving that for you. So you can open that in, let's say, wherever you're signed in. So um, that takes us into the next um, topic, which is saving to web and mobile. So that's a the next command that they've added actually in AutoCAD itself. So let's go ahead and look at that button. So now you have a new way of save files. So open um, from web and mobile app and save to web and mobile. So anytime you make a change to your drawing in AutoCAD itself, you can save it, save to web and mobile, and that will save it into to the cloud and you have access to it anywhere you signed in with your Autodesk account. So you can actually go on web.autodesk.com and open up this drawing from there. Or you can sign into your mobile app and open up this drawing from there. Now this is just going from the quick, um, the quick access toolbar. You can also drop this application menu down and under save as you'll see drawing um, to AutoCAD and Web mobile, so you can save to there also. Now let's look at the next, um, the mobile app. So the mobile app is available for your iPhone, your iPad, and um, other tablets that you have. Now again, um, you will have limited um, ways to create and edit the drawing, but you can still do um, the normal stuff like dimensioning it out and measuring the drawing making minor changes by just doing trying simple line works. And you'll still have the object snap tracking and um, you can still change the units precision. So that's also available in the mobile app itself. So what you can do is you can actually um, create something in the mobile app and it will also give you an option to save it to web and mobile again. And you can um, put it on the cloud, the newest version that you have. Now, when you open up that version, you want to use open from um, web and mobile. So this will open up a brand new dialog box that gets installed with AutoCAD 2019. And this will list all the drawings that you have up on the web. So then you can just double click on it, open that drawing, and you'll see the changes that you made on web.autodesk.com or the changes that you made in your um, mobile app. 
Um, if you wanted to update the drawing on your desktop itself, you would need to open that drawing and then um, override the one that you currently have saved on your machine. So that's something that you have to remember to do. Also, you can, um, when it comes to working with your mobile app, you can actually download the drawing and you don't have to have access to the internet in order for you to work on that drawing. You can do it offline, make changes to it, however, um, write notes on it, um, dimension it out. And when you do have access to the internet, you can upload that file again to your cloud so you have access to it on your web or in AutoCAD um, 2019 itself. So, um, wow, um, that was a pretty short presentation. Um, now we can open up for questions. So that, that covers about everything that 2019 has, has um, added so far. So now we can be ready for questions. Uh, Wendy, if you wanna take over. Okay, thank you, JV. Um, excellent. So oh, there is uh, one other question um, as mm -hmm. it relates to the AutoCAD uh, web app. And mm -hmm. do you know, does does the web app also work for Map 3D? Um, it should work for uh, all the AutoCAD products that you have. Right, all mm -hmm. AutoCAD-based products. I because, yeah, they're that. just naming it one AutoCAD because one AutoCAD covers all AutoCAD tool sets. So you'll be able to Perfect. see all the drawings in web dot AutoCAD. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's your answer, Bob. Um, any other questions? Um, we can go ahead and uh, we've got some time. Okay, here's here's a long one. So are you ready, JV? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see if I can I'll see if I can read all the way through this and, and make you understand what I'm saying. Um, okay. So Ron says this can be, uh, oh, he says it can be taken offline. We probably will because it is a, a, a pretty long. Um, but he's, he's going back to, he's, he asked the original uh, compare question, right? If you could recompare. Mm -hmm. um, so he's asking if you move the plans, um, let's see, if you move the plans you are comparing after setting up the compare so that the buildings are generally overlaid it should still show common stuff as gray and differences in their respective color. Um, he says that he doesn't, uh, I don't have it installed, but I have tried this feature on another computer. So I'm not sure what, what the question is, um, but maybe we'll put you and Ron in touch and um, you can have a, a quick discussion with him uh, just to make sure that that com compare issue is addressed. Definitely, yeah, we can definitely talk about it and I'll try to recreate that problem with him so we can actually see how that solution works. Yeah, definitely. Okay, all right, lots of questions coming in. So um, Eric asks, is the cloud mm -hmm. app available to perpetual license folks? Um, I think it's for only subscription license. Right, I believe that is, uh, I believe you are yeah. correct there and that would make sense that it probably is for um, subscribe subscribers only. Um, Brian asks, what type of access will someone in the field, uh, as in a, a job site, need to be able to see the mobile shared files? Um, they would also have to have access uh, as a subscriber in order for them to log into your um, AutoCAD mobile app. So it's all coming back to subscribers. So you can okay. uh, um, access the drawing in the field. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to need to, um, everybody that you're sharing with is going to need to be a subscriber, correct? Because you're going to need yes. that Autodesk mm -hmm. account to log into, and that's where that's where the, uh, and access it so, um, um, in, in the cloud? So the shared view and the AutoCAD mobile app is actually two different things. The shared view, you can share with somebody that doesn't have a subscriber account, so they can view the drawing uh, in the field but they just can't um, write notes on the drawings or make edits to it without an, uh, an account without AutoCAD or Autodesk. Okay. But for the mobile app, you, you have to have a subscription in order for you to edit in the mobile app in the field. So I hope that kind of clears. Okay, but you could still view from the mobile app without a subscription? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so basically you just need to have a connected mobile device um 
to be yes. able to to view that. Um, uh, Aaron asks, does DWG compare work with 2D only or will it work with 3D objects? That's a good question. Um, so far, I did not try it with 3D, but I would think it does work with 3D also because it, it, it will just mention the changes that are happening, um, no matter if it's the Z elevation also. So it should work okay. with 3D, but I have yet to try it. Okay. Uh, we'll follow up with you, Aaron, and just make sure uh, we'll, maybe JV could do some some testing and we'll follow up uh, with you to, to make sure that we're giving you a complete answer on that. Um, um, okay, and we'll also follow up, Bob, with uh, your MAP 3D questions and uh, get, get all of that uh, taken care of. Um, I think that's all the questions I have right now. And so I think we can go ahead and probably close things out. If anybody um, has additional questions or um, you need additional information, um, JV, maybe you could just go back to that final slide and it has sure. our contact uh, phone numbers there. So you can reach out to um, any of our um, technical specialists um, whether it be in the Portland office or the Seattle office, that's where um, the Autodesk technical specialists reside. And um, we'd be happy to address your questions. Um, if you have questions about product, um, we, we can help with, with that as well. Um, um, moving to subscriptions so that you can take advantage of some of these. Um, I happen to know that there's a great promotion going on right now. So, um, I, I don't have all the details in front of me, but but now's a, a really good time if you're thinking about um, taking that step from perpetual to uh, subscription. So we'll go ahead. Um, one last question that snuck in here, JV. Does the compare feature work between different versions? Uh, no, it does not. It's only for 2019. Okay, so this is a 2019 feature only at this time. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, JV, thank you so much for walking us through the, the 2019 um, release, and um, we'll continue to, to stay in touch. If Again, if you've got questions regarding AutoCAD or Civil 3D, um, JV's the guy, and so uh, please reach out to us, and um, we'll get the recording of this out um, here in the next 24 hours. Anything else, just reply to any of those emails that you get from me, and I'll point you in the right direction um, to get you the assistance that you need. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, JV. And we'll Thank see you, you on the next uh, webinar. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Bye-bye.